Welcome to the What We Do channel. Today I want to show you my support system for our tomatoes. The tomatoes I'm growing are a determinant type called Picus. Determinant also, another way of saying that, is a bush type tomato. They're very highly productive plants. They don't get, they don't continue to grow and grow like an indeterminate type, like um, Better Boy. But they, they get to a decent height and then they produce lots of tomatoes. From these 20 plants, we, we expect to produce about three bushels of 55 pounds or 25 kilos for our sauce making, plus eat all the fresh tomatoes we can possibly stand throughout the, the summer. I really like these cages, but they do have some problems if used on their own. Um, the problems are that, that the tomatoes are eventually going to come much higher than the cage and topple over. Another problem is that the cages standing on their own really tend to, um, if there's a big storm comes up, they tend to get blown over in the storm. But I do like them because, for one thing, they really seem to, when I put the young tomatoes in, the critters are kept out of the beds and they're not digging and tearing things up. And I love the way they keep, they, they support and keep the leaves off the ground. After a while, I came up with the idea of adding stakes to each cage. Um, we used to use bamboo. Uh, I, I didn't like the way that they would rot out and, and then snap. And, er, and they're expensive to replace. You could use wooden stakes, but I think you'd have the same trouble with wooden stakes. So we invested in these uh, solid steel tomato spirals that really are strong. I'm sure they'll outlast me. Okay, this is how the system works. Every cage is in the ground. It has a stake next to it. I tie the stake to the cage. Then, that continues for, the, for every cage and every stake. And then every cage is tied to its neighbor. And what happens is the whole thing becomes one solid system. Uh, it's not one cage that can get blown over in a storm. It's the strength of everything. I kind of learned that from the giant sequoia forests of California, where a giant sequoia tree standing on its own has a fairly shallow root system. And a, a storm would come up and it would blow that massive tree down. But when there's a, a stand of them, a forest of them, the roots all intertwine. And that gives them one massive, strong, structural uh, level of stability. And that's really what I've tried to copy here. As the tomatoes come up higher above the cages, I'm going to get some more of this jute twine and I'll tie, tie up every cage at that height all the way around and then also on the diagonals, making sort of triangles on the inside. And that really supports the plants. And I'll probably end up doing that twice with these bush type tomatoes. Now up here along the wall, I have a single row of tomatoes. There are 10 here. There are also bush types. Um, obviously I can't do my other system with the, with the double row. I've been watching a lot on the Hoss Tool channel where they do something called the Florida Weave. So the posts in between the tomato plants and then they take twine, uh, either a, a nylon twine or a jute twine, and they come along and they, they tie it to one post and they get work their way around the tomato plant, around, around, around with the twine. And they go around the other end and they come along and they do it the opposite way. And that really supports and ties the tomatoes in place. But since I, I still wanted to use the cage, for that early keeping the tomatoes off the ground and the extra support, um, keeping the critters away. I'm gonna, I came up with a new name. I'm going to do the Florida weave once they come up above the top, but I'm going to keep my cages, so I'm going to call it the Cajun weave. When the tomatoes actually come up above the cages and it's time for me to do the weave, I'll show you so you can see what it looks like. Thank you for watching the What We Do channel and have a great day.